being whoa. submissive to your man whoa. is what femininity is. Both of y'all can't be in masculine energy. You can't. I, I believe. I, I you can't. I believe one that. person has to lead and one person has to follow. Not meaning that I'm going to degrade you or I'm going to disregard or not taking consideration what your opinions. But somebody has to lead and that has to be the man. If it is the woman, then that relationship will not work. Point blank, period. What's happening? Yo. <laughs> So Legend Has It podcast brought to you by Legendary Visionaries. My name is Artwork. I can't, I can't have everybody call me Randy. Um, RH Media. No, no, I can't do that neither. That's a company name. Your name is Randy, though. I think I'm gonna have to roll with. I always want to be called Raul. What? <laughs> Yo, fail. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm not gonna do that. I got to come up with a better name than, than Randy. I'm not doing it. All right, man. So, I'm not. I'm not dying on that hill. I'm not not Randy. <laughs> I can't weird. do that. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna figure out something better to call me. But all right, so we ain't just, gonna call you Randy, man. Gonna, just, nah, we're not gonna do that. Just gonna roll, roll with RH right now. RH, all right. All right. So we are what two six? Is that how you say it? Or two six? Or is it one third? When you break it down, well, it would be a third. Yep, yeah, as you. Okay, yeah. Simple for the fraction, yeah, it will be a third. We are one third of the legendary visionaries. And what that is, is a group of individuals, six black men who are uh, entrepreneurs. The six, six black men, we are entrepreneurs. We're trying to change the mindset of most black people nowadays instead of going and taking your money and spending it on a bunch of dumb shit buying joys buying rims buying bags let's take this money and invest it let's put it into some real estate let's put in some stock let's put it into something that's gone let's put in some assets let's make some money off your money yeah get a roi see niggas don't know nothing about the roi Um, they don't know nothing about that excuse me Turn on investment. Yeah, exactly. For y'all, for y'all, uh, y'all illiterate niggas out there. <laughs> you can't be so. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, man. So that's what it is. We um. Damn, I just spilled my drink. But yeah, it's uh, it's six of us. But right now you're seeing two of us and or hearing two of us, R H and artwork. So. Well, what's the first subject you want to get into, man? We got a couple that we want to get. In. Let's get back into what we was talking about. We record that off camera. Let's get back on to what we was talking about. These white women. No, because this is what we was talking about. These white women fetishize us black men. How do you feel about that? I think that I think they fetishize a certain type of black man because I've never been like targeted by. <laughs> I well, no, nah, I, I, I was about to say I don't believe you. I, I think you're lying. I have, I have. I don't but. think there's no black man on this earth that ain't been approached in a certain type of way by a white woman. Yeah, I have, but um, I don't know if it was like a like that, like you saying it was on it wasn't on no freaky shit. I, I mean, know. well, tell the story. I don't know what it was. This is when I was younger, though, so. I was a teenager. She she might have not been. I think her household was in disarray, so she she didn't have the normal white upbringing where they tell <laughs> their children not to fuck with us. So I think that's what that was. Um, other than that, though, I don't, I don't really see too many. I mean, I get looks, but it's like, nah. I think there is a whole <laughs> subculture. <laughs> of these white women, and that's all they dream about. What do, I mean, what type of white women are you talking? About? I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about like the white the fat white women. No, 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 no. I mean, with those two, I'm talking about. I mean, all across all aspects of white womenist. Like, 
So you talking about like from like the dime white women? I'm talking about all of them down to. All right, so check this out. It's a good example. See how the Kardashians is, right? Are they white? What are? I mean, if they ain't white, I don't know what else you can call them. Okay, I didn't. White no. people take them. In, if you had the white delegation out, they gonna say yeah, they're they they out. Right, so they right. white to me. But you take the Kardashians. Every single one of them, I think, except for the mama, I ain't too familiar with them. Got a black dude. Well, the mama fuck OJ. Yeah, that's what's. Oh, there you, you know go. What I'm saying? That's, that's all. Homegirl supposed to be her daddy, right? Um, uh, Chloe. Right? Oh yeah, it's supposed to be OJ's right. daughter. Supposedly. So there you go. Allegedly, and I think that they made it well before them. Even before them, I think they made it popular though. I think they made it okay for. These black dudes to be like, because they already fetishize us anyway, because they got we, black dudes, we got the stigma. I ain't want know you want to call it a stigma, but it's the, uh, what do you call it? The, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, what you know how you say it like, uh, damn, I'm blanking out. <laughs> they, I think all black dudes got big dicks. I'm going to put it out. Oh, the stereotype. The stereotype. Okay. There you go. So, they All want right, to so find out. That's what you say. They trying to find out, but these white women, and even it's like, all right. So you got a whole. All right. So I said it's a subculture of white women that want black men. I think that is the case because these white women be doing their thing, their little life. The black dude is a whole nother different aspect of life for them. They, they used to dealing so with uh, just like Tom and Jerry over here. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, over here. they selling insurance and all that stuff. Then they get with Tyrone. That ain't gonna do nothing but disrespect them and break their back and then go on about his business. You know what I'm saying? But not every black man is like that. So they exactly. So they, but that's what they think that we are. Oh, uh, okay. So okay. Yeah. So stereotyping all yeah, exactly of us. because they, they what get they a, call fetishizing us. <clears throat> and I don't know if some black men could be cool with it. Some black men like it because you know we get white pussy off of that, but. You should feel a little. You should feel a little, a little type of way about that, because it's like who should feel a certain type? Because black men should. I mean, I do. That's why. <laughs> okay, all right, then. Uh, so I'm saying, like, when you go to the zoo, you go there to see the fucking lion running around. And he doing his lion thing. Okay, uh, I don't white, know where you taking this, but <laughs> all right, just check me out. Roll with. Me. These white women looking at us like the dangerous, the excitement in their life. Oh, so it's like any other woman, because a lot of women like danger and excitement. That's why a lot of women like the so-called thugs, Tyrones and them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, it's but it's from a colorism aspect, you're saying. So it's from a cultural thing. So they think our culture is like that anyway. So they exactly. automatically trying to see Exactly. They want to find out. Okay. Yeah. They want you. that excitement in their life. I, I can dig that. I, I, but do you? Should you feel some type of way about it? As a black man. Yeah. Um. It depends. I I think it depends on what you're trying to do. See me. That ain't necessarily my type. My cup of tea. But if you. Uh. Let me see. How can I say this? Depends on what you're trying to do. If you're just trying to fuck, then, hey, do your thing, black man. But if you, you're trying to cuff her, you're trying to cuff Karen and Becky and bring her home to mom, then, yo, you, you know, that's another whole nother aspect of that because she's not going to understand, you know what I'm saying, what you go through on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about America. You know what I'm saying? America with three Ks. So she ain't going to understand that. But, no. You trying to like fuck on her, I mean, or you know, or you trying to <laughs> make her husband a cuck? Like, this, what's the oh name? shit, that's what you was talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I I forgot about that. All right, so check this out. I don't know if y'all legends out there know about this or not. Your so preface whole, this man, like <laughs> you said, that's a whole culture. It's of a cuckold. whole subculture out there of cuckolding. <laughs> nah, I don't believe this Look, shit, man. Come I'm on, I'm gonna put the definition of cuckolding down here somewhere. All right, so check this out. These white women are married to these black... I mean, shit, I said that wrong. These white women are married to these white guys. The white husband will find 
a big black BBC. <laughs> so find out. See, big that's that's black wait a minute, man. Wait a minute. Time out. Wife. Time out. That's legend has it. No, it's not I don't, legend. <laughs> I don't, no, no, I don't that's think that's a, the case, fam. That's not legend. That's man. that's some. Come on, man. That's some uh, X video no, shit, man. I, mean, I don't. That's no, not. No. All right, man. It's not. That's that real life. Real life. It's happening every day. It's happening I had a man, story right. okay. for my friend. Let's get to it. He's deceased right now. God bless the dead. Okay, rest in peace. He <laughs> went to Las Vegas on a business trip. He doing that. He doing his thing. He that walking around. He said he was approached by a white woman. He one of them type of dudes where, you know, he see a woman he like. He gonna talk to her. He ain't scared of none of that. He approached by this white woman. They started talking. You know, had a little conversation. Whatever. It got to the point where she wanted to go up to her room. If y'all have been to Vegas, you know most casinos is right there up top of the hotel. Y'all gotta do is go upstairs. So he was gonna do that. He ended up going upstairs and then come find out the lady was married. They wanted to pay him. No, wait. Her husband was her, in the room? No. He didn't know she was married at the point. Before he got up to her room, he thought he was just going to get some 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 strain. No, right? I'm saying when he went in the room. He went in the room and her husband was there. He was sitting there like. No, before he got on, he didn't get naked or none of that. Before his husband. Before she found out she had a husband, right? Mm-hmm. Come to find out she was married. They bring him an offer to pay him his her husband. Mm-hmm. Offered to pay him money to fuck his wife. How much money were we talking? I don't know. I, he didn't tell me how much. I, don't, I mean, he might have told me, but I don't remember how much it was. But it was more than a couple hundred. It was like maybe five hundred dollars. Okay. He was going. He wanted him to fuck his wife. While he watched. <laughs> While he watched. It's, it's crazy, bro. But the crazy thing is, my man did it. <laughs> it's crazy. He did it. So he fucked his man's wife. Like, I, did he in front of him? Did he explain like? If, if he I mean, was, I don't know. It's a, but it's a whole. That's why I say it's a whole subculture. I mean, cuckolded. did he explain like was he uncomfortable during the whole shit or did he like he saw the money? No, he like, said he was uh, he was uncomfortable with it. But he said, well, he gonna get paid and he gonna get to fuck a white woman. The dude didn't touch him or nothing like that. But the fact of the matter is that he fucked this dude's wife in front of her, hit her husband. See, I would be apprehensive because what if I'm like beating her down like he never beat her down before nah, big, but and then he gets enraged but look, <laughs> and he goes me? in the death in the draw <laughs> while I'm look, in mid stroke and pulls out the 45 me being me that's gonna be my goal I'm oh, saying you let me did you just up? listen to what I said <laughs> yeah but I'm saying like if you gonna go in there and fuck somebody why, why would you go half stroke <laughs> you gotta go full stroke on that that's what I'm saying though. But what if he's seeing you just like <laughs> tearing that ass no, up? And he's like, I could never do that. Like he gets real upset. Mm-hmm. Something comes over him. Something snaps and says, "This is wrong." So you saying like it could be a setup? No, not a setup. He did. Maybe he wanted that. So he like until jealous, he got that. In a, in a jealous rage. Yeah. Once he got it. Yeah. He was like, because she probably was asking for it. She yeah, was like, yeah. she probably put the, yeah, the seed in his head. It. She was, she was like, yeah, we should probably do that. It would spice up our whole, yeah. I don't know, white people shit. But nah, but the, the, but the husband was the one that, that reached out to the homeboy and offered him money. My friend. Yeah, but I'm saying initially, behind closed doors, before it even got to that point, she was prob- he probably brought it up, maybe, because he knew that he couldn't satisfy her. And she probably, like, egged it on. and was She, she wasn't like, uh, she was probably at first trying to gauge his reaction, like, uh... No, all I want is you. All I need is you. But as he probably, he as he kept going, she probably was with it. Like, yeah, we should do that. It would. I was thinking it it would spice up. Let's just go find a go to Vegas and find a random black guy, and who looks like he has a massive <laughs> cock. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, we should do that. And let's say he saw that once it got into it, and he's. And he ain't never seen nobody go to town like this. And he feels and he, some type of way about yeah, he it. might feel some type of way, and then you don't know. You know what I'm saying? You in a vulnerable position. You in there stroking his butt ass. Yeah, you butt ass stroking his his lady. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking about going to town. On yeah, you giving her the massive D. I mean, she screaming all kind of like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> she she saying all kind of wild shit she ain't never said to him. Now he feeling some type of way, you know. She How does like, that work? That's like, what I want to know. She like hit me in my head with a brick. 
How does that work, fam? I don't understand yeah. that. Like, I don't hey, understand man. the psychology behind that. I don't know. I've never been approached like that, but that's what I'm saying. I, I do actually, you say that it's not real, that shit real. I actually have, you, I do have a story about that from, but I, it wasn't told to me. It was told to someone who told it to me. So this guy that my, my friend of mine <clears throat> told me a story of a guy he knew that went to, I think it was DR. It was either DR or Puerto Rico. Mm. And this young cat, he got approached by an older white woman that wanted it wasn't no cuckold shit, I don't think, but she was on him, you know what I'm saying? So like I think she they, on some cougar shit? Yeah, she was an older white woman, some cougar shit. Um, but she he ended up fucking her out in the But they want like her husband was there. Her husband cook. wasn't there. She she might have been married though, you know what I'm saying? On some, okay, but her husband wasn't there. Nah, her husband wasn't there. Oh, okay. But um but how does that work, man? Like getting like I don't understand how that works. Like, how could how, what type of person do you have to be to watch? Like, which <laughs> dude, you talking about to watch your wife getting piped down? Like, <laughs> yeah, what type of person do you have? To, do you have to be to watch your wife get piped down? Man, you got to be a different type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, get piped down. Like, uh, look, hey, look. <laughs> I, I know my three inches isn't measuring up. So, nah, look. And to pay for it, look, like look, look. to pay for it, <laughs> <laughs> yes, you pay good look, money. No, nah, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play devil advocate. Nah, fam. <laughs> look, all right. So check this out. <laughs> so maybe homeboy knew he couldn't pleasure his wife like that. That's what I'm saying. But he he loved his wife that much. No, that <laughs> that shit's crazy. But he wanted. To make sure his wife was satisfied, he do whatever it takes for him to satisfy his wife, man. You know what? If you really look at it from a different lens, that really takes a real strong man for his wife. And not the wife. <laughs> Don't knock it off, man. Let, let somebody pipe your wife down like that. I mean, okay. hey, like hey. if you really wanted to get deep down into it, you a stronger man than the normal man. Let somebody pipe your wife down like that. That's not and true. And you sitting I'm there a- in the room hey. watching it. That means you getting the smells. <laughs> <laughs> the smells is hitting your nose. Like he go, I mean, he just he popping your wife. Popping her. I mean, hey. crazy shit. Telling her to switch sides. <laughs> I mean, he got her head pulling it all out in the bed. Oh my god, Come that's on, crazy. <laughs> and you in the corner jacking off. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Hey, you know what? <laughs> you in the corner jacking off. You low key gay. <laughs> gay. And I said, like, that's it, man. Like, like, you know what? That shit about 65% gay. Yeah. <laughs> it's 65% gay because, yeah, all right, gay. so why would you want to see, it's like, the man in missionary, all you see is man yeah. ass cheeks. Because he coming down like this on your wife. Yeah, you saying, like, because that's another, it's a, um, they fetishizing too. The man is fetishizing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man, that's that's a little gay. It's gay. It's gay. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you one thing too, it's man. Um, gay. if you that's not your wife, first of all. So you saying? So you saying you like your wife get piped down? That's not your. That's wife? That's not your wife. She isn't your what? wife. What? It's not your wife. Why not? Y'all came to this agreement together. Yeah, that's not your wife, fam. That's, nah, man. Look, she, don't do that. She's for the streets. <laughs> nah, don't do that. What future say? <laughs> she belongs to the streets. <laughs> She's for the streets. Don't man. do that because I'm not in their relationship. So I don't know how they work on, like that, man. man. Look, if they done talked about this and they cool with that, that's their relationship. Let them do their thing, man. Don't be like that, Come man. Come on, man. Nah. That's crazy, man. Speaking, <laughs> <laughs> we finished with this time. <laughs> this shit crazy. If they want to let, if you well, let your wife go in there and she doing her thing. But you know what, though? So speaking of that, <clears throat> with the cuck on shit, how I wonder if it's all right for the man to go out and fuck some chicks with man, the wife. Fuck no, ain't no woman so, going so that for that right shit. There, that's some old beta Have shit. Have you ever seen a woman? No, I mean, well, yes, yeah, yeah. Nah, it worked both ways, but you know, you have to be, you have to get in that situation. You know have So you trying to tell me that you ain't never heard of a? Husband and wife together, and they have a a, a chick. Now, they don't call them cuckoo. They call them chick Swingers. unicorns. Huh? They call them unicorns. No, explain that. A unicorn is a chick that is a 
that will, I will say, enhance your relationship, she'll join in. Nigga, that's a threesome. <laughs> exactly. But it's like, y'all married, though. But this chick is willing to join in. Yeah, any Like the same chick, what are you saying? She'll be willing to join in to do her thing with y'all together. Oh, that's... um. I mean, like, and I'm y'all sure married. That, I'm sure that happens. Like, exactly. It's the same thing with a cuckold. Is it, though? Yeah. Like, man, you can't be out here judging people, man. People live in life, right. man. It's 2020 out here, man. All right. So, <laughs> you about to get married with you. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, yeah, I am about to get married. And ain't nobody pipe my fucking wife. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not with that. She I'm come to you and say, uh, I know we just got married, but. I never had any Caucasian meat. Out of pocket for that shit. Way out of pocket. Now, that first of all, this disrespect. <laughs> Wait, so, why is that disrespect? You can't come to me this first of felt all, comfortable enough to come to you like that. You can't that. come to me off gate talking about you want pink meat. Like, first of all, I'm done right there. I'm done. Don't come to me with that bullshit. Come on, you want pink meat? Oh, no, no, no. Don't do, don't do that. I'm saying, though. Like, no. You nope. wouldn't be opening it. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. She was like, we should pay nah. five hundred dollars nope. for Brad nope. to come through. Nope. Nope. Like the candles. It would be it would be you less disrespectful up. if she came to me and said she wanted big big dick Jamal to come through. <laughs> Why? <What? laughs> no, nah, that'd be less disrespectful. Don't come to me talking about you want to paint me. That's like, the same that's, disrespect. Why nah, is it different? Is, nah, fuck that. That's weird. That's just weird. <laughs> nah. I mean, either Big Dick Jamal, he ain't coming through neither, but... I'm just nah, saying, though, why is that different? Weird. How is that different? Because, man, I'm just like... I got a strong black woman. Okay. And you coming to me with some old pink meat shit. That's weird to me. Like, but that's what I'm saying. Like, so like you, what you, you fetishizing these white niggas? That's over what here? I'm saying. Like, what if? Like, that's weird. Like, what, like, like, that's what I'm saying about <clears throat> the whole the opposite situation. That shit is weird. It's like I mean, I think cuckold is weird. Oh, okay. no, I'm not with it. <laughs> okay, that's why. Like, you had me <laughs> no, confused. No, 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 no. I'm not with that okay. movement. I mean, they want to do that, then do it. Okay. Like, if you want to do your thing, if you do do your thing. It ain't bother me. But. If my wife came to me talking about she wanted some pink meat. So let me ask you this. Like, if you was in that situation, not in your situation now where you engaged about to get married, but if you was in Vegas, because we've been to Vegas. <laughs> a few times. Um, if you was in your man's shoes and you was in Vegas, um, not engaged, of Hypothetically. course. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, yes. Okay. Of course. Um, single. <clears throat> in a one... Um, said white woman approached you, you know what I'm saying? And she's she look good. She might look the part with um <clears throat> she approached you with that proposition. How would that go with you? If I was approached by a white woman and she was <clears throat> fetishizing me for my BBC. Yeah, but I'm talking about the whole cuck hole thing. Man, the cuck hole thing, I'm not cool with that because like I mean like so you get back to the room and he offers you five stacks. Like what? Oh wait a minute! <laughs> wait, like he wait. he just finished playing blackjack and he uh, he won twenty G's so he can hit four twenty uh, he five stacks. If it's five stacks, then I might have to uh, bring myself to get through the uh, proposition. Okay. Because it's five thousand dollars, all I gotta do is fuck his wife. I ain't losing nothing. All I'm doing is fuck his wife. Yeah, I might be with that That's hypothetically, <laughs> but. uh I'm not cool with the whole idea of a whole other nigga just standing there watching me fuck his wife. Like, that's weird to me. That shit is super weird. <laughs> like, why are you standing back in the cut? What like if he you like, yo, I'm going to be in the closet. I'm just going. Nah, I don't want you to, <laughs> it's even, that's even weirder. Like, I don't want to know you even there at all. You know what I'm saying? That's weird. What if he says, yo, I'm going to be downstairs, but set the video up so I can watch. Oh, I might do that. Later. Yeah, I might do that, but it might be my preference. Oh my like, yeah, you can watch me do this terrorism on your wife. <laughs> terrorism. Yeah. You can watch that. If you want to go back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> watch this and watch the tape. You know, do what you want to do. But I might be with that. You so man, speaking of marriage, um You about to get married, man. 
Yeah, I'm about to make that big jump. How's that feel? Like what? <sighs> well, because of course I get. Uh, I mean, I feel good. Me personally, me personally, I feel I feel good with it. I feel fine with my decision. Of course, it's me being a man. I get mixed reviews. I get mixed reviews for men that are married. So for get, more than me. So yeah, for more than more than just you. <laughs> okay. I get a mixed review <laughs> for men that have been married like you. And then I get I get the people that uh they, you know they I mean they have to get married. But uh, so it's the greatest thing ever. They say that is what they say. But I mean, me personally, I'm cool with it. I mean I've been with I've been with my chick for eight, almost nine years. Shit. <laughs> I mean, it ain't gonna be too much different from what I got going on now. So I mean, I might as well go ahead and make that jump, man. I mean, I I have had, uh, you know, everybody think about whether they want to do that or not, and I have been a proponent, and me myself. I always said for the longest time, even before I met her, like I, I was always one of the people like, I won't never get married. I think the whole idea of marriage is outdated. I think it's not Absolutely. really something that works now in this day and time. Like if you get married, you really asking for like the divorce and like higher. Absolutely. You know. But you know. For a man. Well, for, for even, even a woman. I mean, but you know what, for a man, more, more so, so for a man. Because, you know, men. If the man makes more than a woman. <laughs> now, hold, hold up. Hold, hold, if they, the man makes more than so the you woman. Done, you done ran up on something now. Now, why, why do you say that? Because uh, there's no benefit for a man to get married. There's no benefit for a man to get married. <sighs> What's the benefit? <sighs> All right, so the man. What's the benefit? More, She's gonna get. Do you want like okay? So she gets the wedding. Do you want a wedding? Are you excited about a wedding? You want know, me personally? Yeah, I am not excited exactly. About she gets I, the wedding. She I gets get, a nice ring. I get frustrated even talking about my wedding, and I mean all I don't that, really do any planning for it. She does all the planning for it. But all of that shit is for her. It's hers. I, I feel the same way, but. I also said but you want to make her happy, so I understand that. But I have to say, even though you're right, she told me before we even got on this whole marriage thing, she said, because I, I thought that having a wedding was pointless. I thought it was wasting money. It is. And I was like, why? What's the point in doing it? But then I said, I didn't want to do it because I know for a fact that when you go back and look back on this day, you wouldn't be happy with just doing no just a piece type shit. You're going to want a wedding. So I wanted to be, I wanted her to be. I would be perfectly be, fine with that. I would too. Oh, you talking about her. But man. yeah, I'll okay, yeah, 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 I understand. But that. she told me she didn't want a wedding. But I felt like she was lying. Of course. Okay, so I went Especially back and I was like. Especially she has friends that have been married in a traditional she, wedding. She, she does have a few. But most of her friends ain't married yet, so they looking on oh, her okay. for the example. Uh, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, okay. But it's like for some reason, I mean, you, I mean, everybody already know women take this marriage shit to a different level. It's another level, fam. It's like uh, they have to like, I mean, even from a a, a, a younger age, women all have more pressure on them to. Get married, have kids, do all this like domestic shit, and it's not really a man thing. Like my mom ain't never hit me up and been like, "When you gonna get married?" or nothing like that. She 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 ain't never asked me no shit like that. But now that she found out I am getting married, and she does like my fiance right, a right, lot, right. she treated like a, her daughter. Mm -hmm. But it's not nothing that was pushed on me like women are. Like women have you think the, it's pushed on women? I do. I feel like that because women start from a small age with they Barbie dolls acting like they got had a fairy tale shit. That's the problem. They need to have this man. They gonna get married. They gonna have kids. They gonna do all this white picket picket fence shit. And I don't feel like that's realistic to me. It's to me, not. I don't think it's realistic. It's not realistic, but that's the problem. Men have that too because we brought we grow up watching them Disney fucking movies, and that's not real. 
it's not real. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to save a hoe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you see, every Disney movie you see, you see some motherfucker saving a female or some shit. You ain't, that <laughs> shit ain't realistic, man. Like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? So you grow up thinking you're supposed to save them, and it's, you know what I'm saying? So you end up might be end up saving the wrong one. You know what? You know what I'm saying? I did. You know what? I'm a, I'm a, and that's where I was with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, not to even shit on. I'm not trying to shit on marriages, man. If you want to get married, hold on, wait a minute. Wait, just tell the people your your backstory on why you feel. Look, no, let's tell the people your been, backstory okay, so on why you feel like this. I don't want to tell my business. No, no, tell you ain't got to tell all your business. Just tell them how you got to this point where you feel like you feel. Because I used to be a sim, <laughs> like super sim. You know what I'm saying? I got <laughs> that's real. That's real talk. Um, and I believed in that. You know what I'm saying? That soulmate shit. Um, that Disney shit. You know what I'm saying? But that ain't that ain't it, man. Especially in this day and age. Now, if you find they're all good women out there. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> um, but that is that that Disney shit is not it. It ain't it, man. If y'all believing in that fairy tale soulmate. What do they call it now? Twin flame shit. I ain't never heard that. Before. You ain't never heard twin flame. <laughs> no. I'm gonna find my twin flame. Nah, I don't. And know we can what that vibrate is. on the same frequency. Get the mm. fuck out of here with that. But that anyway, sound like some that sound fire though. <laughs> twin flame. My twin flame on the same frequency. Our chakras vibrating on the same frequency. <laughs> hey, I'm you with it. Though, it I'm with it too. It sound good, <laughs> but sound real hey, nice. Hey, it don't work like that. But look, that's another reason why I think me and my fiance are gonna work out. Cause I already bring it. We, I personally bring it to the table that this ain't no fairy tale shit. Real life ain't no fairy tale. Some I mean, she probably shit. already know fucking with you. Fucking with me, obviously, she already know shit. Yeah, she probably <laughs> you already don't know, know what you gonna get. Man, like if you going here thinking everything gonna be on up and up, gonna be great, gonna be worked out. Like it's not. That's not how it's gonna be. If you going into it like that, you already asking for it. You asking for the worst. You know what I'm saying? I'm going into this thing with realism, with logic. You know what I'm saying? And I want to make sure she, on her end, has logic also. Damn, man. I want to say some shit. No, man. say it. Women don't operate on logic, fam. Man, but look. But that's on you. I ain't going to say it's on I ain't gonna say it's on us men. But I'm gonna say if you if you make decisions like they I did, operate off emotion, exactly. and that's why if you find the right one, that's why it works well because the man is the logical, the woman is the emotional, and that balance evens out. That's what's supposed to happen. But a lot of times, <clears throat> people get married like I did. So my background is I got married at a young age. I was like 23. I got married. Um, the woman that I married, uh, I got her pregnant, so I thought I was doing the right thing, and um, hope she don't see this because she's gonna take me. <laughs> anyway, check this out. I got married. I thought I was doing the right thing, man, for my daughter. I wanted to raise my daughter in a healthy household, and um, it didn't work out like that. And plus, I didn't know at that young age, I didn't know who I was. You, on the other hand, are older than I was at that point. Right, I'm 35 so now. I'm sure like you know who you are as a person. Me not knowing who I was as a person altered that. So you trying to give somebody love and and nurture somebody else when you don't know yourself is exactly. it's a fucked up task to take as a man. And you're not even a man at that age. Like no. 23, you're not even I'm not a man. And but then I she think had, that you think that at 23. You though. do think that. You but think you can not. handle that, but you you can't handle that, man. And that was a whole task and a half. So it wasn't just my daughter. I was like a uh, stepfather, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like so that yeah. shit like I didn't know what the fuck I was doing and I was searching for who I was and I was something had to be neglected. So I was neglected my duties and not even knowing what my duties were as a father and a man. And shit didn't work out, man. It was it was a lot of I ain't gonna degrade her on this shit, but <laughs> she had a lot to do with it. But yeah, it just didn't work out, man. So I'm at the the point now where it's like, man, I don't like like I said before, I don't think there's a great benefit for a man to be married. 
Like I, me being a man that's about to get married, I do see a benefit in it, but I wouldn't be making that decision because I'm not a delusional. I'm not a delusional nigga in general. You know what I'm saying? That's why I knew for a fact that the chicks I've dealt with in the past, that if I even thought about getting married with them, I know I would be at right now. I know I would be right where you at. I would be out the door. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I wasn't ready for that. Now me being 35, I done lived a lot. I done done a lot. I done done things. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I know who I am. So I know who... I know, not matter of fact, I know what I'm looking for and I know what I'm trying to get out of life. Now, I'm not at the point now I'm trying to chase no ass. I'm not doing no stuff like that, but I'm trying to build shit now. So, and I'm not trying to be going on in life with. I mean, I could do it on my own. Of course, yeah, I could, but it's other stuff that so is like mad shit that she do that she compliment aged. my life. Okay, she aged. Like, what? She, she, she elevates. My shit, okay. you know what I'm saying. And if that's the case, then that's a great thing. You know what I'm saying. That's what, um, that woman is supposed to be like elevate you. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, a helpmate. Yeah. She's supposed to like enhance who you right. are as a person. Right. You know what because I'm I mean, a lot of uh, I think a lot of dudes go out here like, especially if you a guy that got married early. If you get married early, I think that's a terrible idea. Super terrible. I think that's a horrible idea. Take it from and me. And I don't think that you should do that. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's your mindset. Take it from me. I think that if... I, 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 I mean, I didn't talk to other guys that then got married like 19, 20 years old. And it could work. Mm. But it tends not to work. <laughs> oh, how? I mean, I'm saying... Okay, now, if you... I mean, if you I'm trying not to be all the way negative, if, man. Look, man. If you a different type of nigga... I you just a simp through and through. If you like, I don't like when you say you was a simp. I was a super simp. I don't. I don't even know how. I don't even know how to how to operate like that. I was a simp. Bro. I don't. I don't get it. I, was I don't a simp. understand that lifestyle. Like I don't know how you got out of that. <laughs> like I don't even know how you got into that. You know what I'm saying? I just because I, I believed in like the fairy tale bullshit. But you know what? Let me go. All, I'm going all the way back. Let me go way back to the eighth grade. I'm going back to my eighth grade. I'm coming up. See, I ain't had my heart broken in the eighth grade. Oh, see, that's your problem. See, I was, I was, <laughs> when I was in the eighth grade, they was, it was that's easy. Your problem. It was easy. I'm going all the way back to the eighth grade. I had me a little chick. I thought we was cool. We was doing our little thing. You know what I'm saying? Come to find out, little chick won't do one right, man. She was she out in the streets. Doing right. She was, she was uh, for the streets. She belongs to the streets. Thought she was your, uh. Yeah, man. She was for the streets. I found out about it, man. My homeboys in eighth that, grade, she was man, eighth grade, man. What she was like 14, 15. She was look by the time she was a senior, she already had like a three year old or something like that. It was something crazy, but anyway, look, man, she put my little heart. She fucked me up. <laughs> she fucked me up in the eighth grade. See, I don't give a fuck no more. See, <laughs> see, that's what me and you like. I don't, I'm just like, nah, you know what it is, though. You're gonna be like that. You I'm always. Like, I feel nah, like I'm always. Like I'm too old you, to change. Nah, man. you're not. No, nah, you ain't. Cause you scorn right now. No, I'm not scorn. Nah, you is. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm you not scorn. Nah, you is scorn. I don't have. I have no ill will nah, towards no woman. Nowhere. I don't believe that. I have no ill will. No I ill will. I, I just that. recognize what it is. What, what, so what? What is it? It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> No, I recognize no, what it is. I, I treat them all the same. Look, I, let me tell you how I feel. I don't put nothing past <laughs> nobody. So that's how I approach everything. I mean, it's how you ought to be with everybody, though. Exactly. You so that's how I am now. Nobody. And I'm reason. selfish. I'm super selfish, bro. But okay. All right. So let's get let's get into I'm that. I'm super selfish. Let's get into that. So that, I understand that about myself. I think that was a, a main point. That was that was. If I'm putting something on myself, that was like one of the reasons why my marriage was. So like, you felt like that I'm you super was selfish. Being selfish in your own. I'm selfish, bro. I'm selfish. Like selfish in general. I'm just selfish. I want. I do. I want to do what the fuck I want to do when I want to do it, how I want to do it. I like being by myself. So you don't have no compromise when it comes to I, relationship. I don't want to compromise shit. So you I don't give a like- fuck what you think, how you feel, none of that shit. 
You know what I'm saying? And if I have to compromise, that's what made me like miserable. I don't want to see your family. God I don't care. Damn. <laughs> so you mean when you had to compromise, that shit made you miserable? Yeah. God damn. But, but like I'm saying, I didn't know myself. I didn't know that then. You know what I'm saying? But now that I know that, I don't got to get in that situation. Like I'm cool. I'm cool. Hi. I'm like, but I don't give a I fuck about a- what you think, bitch. This is me. I'm doing what I want to do. I don't Look, care. I think that's the thing that keeps me like like divorces. I mean, not divorces. Marriages don't work because when you're young, you don't really know yourself like you think you do. No, you, you don't, don't. You don't know at shit. All. You can be 25. You think you know everything. You don't know you don't shit. Know shit. I'm 35. I feel like I, I I'm shit. I'm old enough to know the fuck I am. I've been living my life. I know how I am. But I found someone. That knows how I am. And she know I ain't always fucking... You know how I am. That's a great thing. (laughs) I'm not always going to be... I'm not definitely not the peaches and cream nigga. I'm going to give you some bullshit a lot of the time. But she know... (laughs) Y'all don't pay no attention to this nigga because he he on his shit right now. The fucker. And she know that. And she know not to pay me no fucking mind. You know what I'm saying? I mean... (laughs) Yeah. I I can understand that, man. I... What I'm saying is, I don't want to deal with none of that. Like, I just want to be though. like. So you want to be single forever? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> like the really shit I ever heard was like, you listen to Little Brother. Uh, from time to time. Like, um, I think Fonte. Um, it's like I want a girl when I want a girl, and when I don't want a girl, I want a girl who understands that. That's me. But all right, so taking that same phrase into my own relationship. I ain't gonna say it worked like that, like like on your on your on your behalf. But in my own relationship, when I'm with my chick and we good, we good. When I don't feel like being bothered, she know. And also on my behalf, I know she don't want to be bothered. Don't fuck with her. She good. She doing her thing. And she gonna be all right. Y'all, yeah, y'all been together. Like that's odd though. Like, well, not odd, but rare. Y'all, you see, nine years. Yeah, like eight, nine. Like, it's a lot of these, it on nine, a lot so. of women, like after a year or two, they be pressing for like the but ring. That's, but that's the thing, though. <clears throat> she never see. I'm I'm the type of nigga that see. Then she I different, don't, bro. Exactly. But it's I'm the nigga that I never I would never cave no ultimatum. Don't tell me do this or that or what. But whatever, do your thing. I I'm, I don't I don't care about being by myself. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind if this shit ain't gonna work. I'm cool with that. I'm not gonna be sitting here acting like I got to be with you. I'm gonna kill myself. No, it's not gonna ever happen. So you can go ahead and do your thing. Whatever you want to do, do it. So she know how I am. I know how she is, and we know how to compliment that off each other. Even though at all times that we are together, it shit ain't always great. But we know how to deal with each other. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And I know she know what I do for her, and I know what she do for me. You know what I'm saying? All right, right, right. So I felt like me having it, like if even if I wasn't gonna be in a relationship with her particularly, if I had to go back and do all this shit over with somebody else, I don't know if they would be like her. You know what I'm saying? They might not be on the same wave as she is. You know what I mean? I, I get you. You might not find that. You know what I'm saying? You might find some of that, but you ain't going to find exactly like, that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to find a chick that you go out and do some shit. I mean, I ain't saying nothing, do nothing crazy, but like you go out and you out with your homies and you doing your thing and she don't bother you. She ain't going to call and ask you where you at all the time. She ain't going to be like, yeah, that's <laughs> you know, what you doing, where y'all yeah, let, yeah, like yeah, who yeah, y'all yeah. with. She ain't going to do that. Right, right. She going to let me do my thing. She going to let me be me. And I'm going to let her do her when she do her. Like if she go out with her girl, she gonna do her thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna be doing the same thing with her. You know what I'm saying? She ain't gonna bother me like that. When I come home, she, I ain't gotta ask like, uh, what's it gonna be for dinner? She know the fuck I like to eat. She gonna make it anyway. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, all right. That ain't. That sounds ideal. <laughs> I mean, but that's the, that's why I made the decision. Okay. To do my thing because I already know how I am. I As know I can be some, I can be on some bullshit sometimes. 
But I think this I'm is because sure. I know my flaws. I know how I am. But she know my flaws too. So she know how to deal with me. I mean, that's cool if it's not one sided because like females be on some bullshit yeah. sometimes too. So yeah. and they a lot of times they like to act or act, yeah, act like that you're the only one that's on the bullshit. But Yeah. Yeah, she be on some bullshit too. So But I know how to deal with it. Yeah, if y'all got an understanding with that, then it could it definitely could work for sure, for sure. But my <laughs> I'm just jaded, man. I ain't, yeah, I'm not, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I think that I think it's gonna take a woman to come and, and she gonna have to be able to deal with your bullshit, man. I don't got no bullshit, man. I'm just nah, selfish. That's what that's, that's what that selfish shit come in. You don't think you got no bullshit, but you do. I'm selfish. That's my bullshit. I'm selfish. I don't care. But what if you get a chick that's like a all I don't like give a fuck what you want? <laughs> <laughs> what if you get a chick that's like. 100% like submissive and a nurturer. Oh, then that's a different. They ain't no, they don't, they don't exist in 2020. Nah, you a lie. They don't exist. <laughs> submissive <laughs> chicks? That's an insult. Nah, I mean, well, yeah, it can be. In 2020. I think it can be. You call a chick submissive in 2020? That's but an insult. But that's only because. These are independent you know women what? out here, fam. You you might get get us canceled before we even start <laughs> by saying some <laughs> shit like that. What's nah. wrong with you? Look, check this out. I think that's a thing that people in general, not not women, not men, but people in general need to come to terms with. Some women like the submissive shit. That's that, what they are. Okay, I'm going to say some shit. Women they don't know. want you to say it in public. That's the problem. Now, fuck that. If you submissive, you submissive. That's femininity. Hold up. Now, you about to get us canceled. <laughs> 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 wait, wait a minute. No, whoa, 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 whoa. being submissive to your man whoa. is what femininity is. Both of y'all can't be in masculine energy. You can't. Oh, I believe. I, I you can't. I believe one that. person has to lead and one person has to follow. Not meaning that I'm going to degrade you or I'm going to disregard or not take in consideration what your opinions. But somebody has to lead, and that has to be the man. If it is the woman, then that relationship will not work. Point blank, period. Oh, and I just said some shit. And y'all might get mad, but that's what it is. It ain't going to work. I'm going to tell you that right here. There's a bunch of women in their 40s and 50s that are single right now wishing that they had took this advice when they was younger, but they didn't. That's artwork. My name is Artwork. <laughs> Artwork eleven ten, baby. Look, look me up. Look, that's real shit, though. I I don't. I, I mean, I agree with points. But I ain't. I'm what don't you on, agree I'm not with? On that same boat, you is. So you think the woman can assume the leadership position um, in the relationship? No, I, I think. Do that, you think the woman can assume the leadership position in the relationship uh, me, and that relationship okay, look, work? I'm not going to speak a CC. It's how I am. I'm not going to speak. So is your woman the leader in your relationship? No, no, she's not. No. But if you ask her, she won't ever admit to me being the leader of our relationship. But does she know that you are the man? Uh, she, she ain't got no toy. <laughs> she don't have no toy. Because I let it be known every day. You know what I'm saying? The woman cannot be the leader in the relationship. She cannot be the leader in the relationship. She can think that Bro. she is. If she, I'm telling you, man, she's not going to respect you if you do not handle your fucking I, business. I, Women need to be led. I they want to be led. I understand. I, now, I, wait a minute. <laughs> there you put, wait a minute. Hey, man. I, I feel like that. You want the sauce, I'm giving it, you the sauce. So you think women can lead a relationship between a man and a woman? I ain't talking about a lesbian relationship. <laughs> talking about between a man and a woman. I think it depends on the man, the man. But that ain't gonna work still because if the man is a beta bitch, mm. like she ain't gonna respect him. That's what I'm saying. Like it could work, but she ain't gonna respect him. As soon as she another dude comes through that's like slinging dick and it's alpha and got money, she on she ain't, and that's attracted to her and she's attracted to him. He ain't gonna last. I don't think beta dudes get. I don't think they win. 
in general. Because if you a beta, you always succumb to the alpha. Like you That's why it won't work, bro. I mean, but I'm saying like women are blinded by love in general. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So if they love that beta dude, mm. even if he's sensitive mm. and he can't do all the things she thinks she in love with him, so she gonna roll with that dude. That's and bullshit. <laughs> they ain't they ain't not blinded by love. They're blinded by resources. I mean, yeah, in so general. If that beta dude is she might love him, but if that alpha nigga come through and he's you know what I'm saying in that hundred thousand dollar car and he a millionaire and her beta dude is only a thousandaire. Fuck love, nigga. Like, what you talking about? And he attracted to her, she attracted to him, then she leaving that beta dude 100%. I think you got a point, but I think that, I don't, I mean, like me, me for is I don't like to generalize women. So I don't think that all women. Bro, we're not talking like about all. we talking about the majority. <laughs> 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 not all. Not all, y'all. Look, not all of y'all are whores. I don't. Think the majority of women want to, they don't want a beta dude. They want an alpha dude that's going to take control of the situation. And that's all I'm saying. Take care of them, have stability about their situation. Because I asked my, my girl, for instance, I asked her, what about me made you want to even get this far with me? And she said, stability. I'm bringing her stability. She know exactly what's going to come to the table with her. At all times. It ain't like you got to guess what month you're going to be good or not. You don't got to guess how I'm going to be from day to day. It's stability. Okay, so check this out. So, how long, and not just talking about your, <laughs> your lady, you know what I'm saying? Much respect. Um, But how long, okay, start. So, you got stability. But if you lose your job <sighs> or you're not able to provide, how long do you expect her to ride that way? Do you think love is going to hold her out? Or do you think she's going to be on the street with your ass? <laughs> you think about, you talking about in general? I'm talking about period. All right, so. In my the majority. Own, I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about the majority. In my own relationship. I think, you know, I, I, shit, I might be stupid for that. <laughs> but I think that <laughs> if I lost my job. And yeah, they're, they're gonna give you like women to give you a yeah. grace period. If I was not making no effort to she find another one, she's gonna rub your back and be like, "Hey, baby, it's gonna be all right. Yeah, it's gonna be good." But like, even if you making an effort, no, nah, but you know what? I I don't blame women for doing it. I don't either. Because but that's, if you what, got a nigga I, sitting around, he sitting in his drawers playing two K hey, all day, and he ain't doing shit else. Man, I, fuck you. I don't either. I just understand what it is. That's all I'm saying. I understand what it is, and that's how I live my life. Like, I understand what it is. If I lost my job, and I wouldn't be able to provide shit, and I was sitting out there trying to find another job, I think she would support me until I found another job. And what if it's taking long? Hell long. <laughs> What's hell if long? she ain't getting what she used to What's get hell long six months and like, then she is she going to work and she got a work bay and he like whoa, hey whoa, check, whoa, check, whoa, check this whoa. out <laughs> <laughs> check this out hey i just got a raise you know i don't know why that work bay shit i don't, I don't, I don't Man, you know all women got work husbands i don't i don't, I don't condone work base but i know how that can be all women got work you know what all women think that men want to be their friends I'm gonna tell all no women. No, the fuck they don't. No, 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 they don't. No. Let, me, let, let me get this. Let me get this. Hold up. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell all y'all women out there right now. No man wants to be your fucking friend, and they don't think that a man wants to be their friend. <laughs> no, they, they just they, they just like in the, position. No, they just like the attention that they get from those niggas that they would never do anything yeah, with. Yeah, the woman does, because, but the man is playing his position so he can fuck. Yeah. But, he's playing his position to get fucked. He's not your friend. But the nigga that they attracted to straight off, they gonna let him fuck. Yeah, he gonna be next up. Exactly. He next up in line. Now, y'all women, don't get... It ain't even trick. I don't know why y'all think these dudes is sincere and they want to be your friend. They not. I talk to dudes every day. I already know what they are. <laughs> You're a dude. You are. <laughs> <laughs> they want to be your friend until they can fuck. They don't want to be your friend. 
We don't want to hear that bullshit. No. We don't want to hear how your day is no, going. No, we don't, don't care. None of that shit. I don't give a fuck about we you. We don't dick. care. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. man. They don't want to be your friend. They trying to get in them draws. Exactly. <laughs> they G. I mean, you they can't. GTD. Get in the draws. <laughs> what does GTD stand for? Got the draws, okay? <laughs> I mean, you can be you can be. I mean, you can to a certain extent, to you a certain can. point. You can, but but it gets to a certain point where it's like, come on, man. Like, nah, man, because you know chicks will take advantage of that shit, exactly. that work husband shit. And they bring them breakfast and all that bullshit, but they know they ain't gonna do nothing with them because they just they with they do and they know they got this dude that be like fawning over there and all that. Let me take advantage of that. But if you gonna be the nigga that fall for that, then you you good. You do your thing. You play your position. <laughs> but. The fact of the matter is, the dudes that are acting like they playing and y'all friends are not y'all friends. Go ask any male monogamous friend you got, can you fuck in text messages right now? See what he say. See what he say. <laughs> hey, so what about uh, women with the so-called gay friend that's male? What do you think about that? That can... Uh, I don't play that shit either. That can be a little mercy. I don't play that shit either. <laughs> because by the way, could be like real. By life. the way, he's gay, but he will knock your block off if no, he gets I, the chance. I don't believe that. Yeah, he will. I, I think that gay dudes like that can be real nah, live gay. He eat your pussy out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the least he will do. He will do it because he's a friend. You need your pussy yeah, yeah, eat it. Oh man. I don't I don't play that shit either, man. So you don't play the gay friend either? Nah, fuck no. I knock his fucking head off the show. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't play that shit, man. I mean, I don't know, man. A gay friend could be like the Hey girl, we gonna go out here and nah, get drinks and all that. Fuck this. nah, fuck that. I mean, they might be out here looking at dudes, man. Fuck that. I'm playing devil's advocate right now. Uh, okay. Yeah, they could be out here just looking at dudes. Damn she he might not be thinking about your girl. Alright. <laughs> Alright. So you're not cool with that? Alright. So how you gonna react when a gay nigga done turned your girl out? Shit, man, I might have to go knock myself <laughs> off. <laughs> but a gay nigga done fucked my bitch and then it is it's over. Knock your block off. Now do she it. done fell in love. Now she don't know whether she a goddamn dyke or she don't know what she is no yeah, more. No, nah, I can't. She do fucked that. the gay nigga. Yeah, she done hit the gay nigga and he he hitting everything. He don't put a strap on on top of his dick. Oh <laughs> God damn! <laughs> oh shit, man! What's next, man? What we what we got? Now we tri- all right, man. Um, blame it on the alcohol, man. We well, we. Hey, <laughs> this is not normally how we speak. <laughs> all right, so I'm pretty sure by now everybody has seen the greatest documentary ever made, which was The Last Dance. <laughs> Everybody in the world had to see right, it. Man. I was watching Joe Rogan and he said Kevin Hart asked him that he see it and he said he didn't see it yet. And Kevin Hart was baffled. He uh, fuddled. Uh, what the fuck he got going yeah, on? Yeah, I don't understand that either. But hey man, what you want to get into? This that dot was excellent. All right. So this is my stance. <clears throat> Michael Jordan is the best player ever. Michael Jordan is the reason. Okay. Why I, I feel love. like you preferencing this shit to get disrespectful, <laughs> man. Come on, don't don't do that. Wait, Michael Jordan is the reason why I love basketball. Right, me too. Michael Jordan is the reason why I am a Chicago Bulls fan. Okay. I never been to Chicago before, right, and I'm right. a Bulls fan. Okay, to this day. Um, Michael Jordan, was, he was on some bullshit though. How, man? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> my guys, all right. So check this out. Just because you the best player, right, and you the best athlete in the whole league, you can't just be going ape shit on your teammates when you feel like it. Man, you can't <laughs> just do that all. The, like, you can't be punching teammates in the face at practice. Did they even talk like about it. him punching anybody? Bro, he they say he punched two people. They said for two for sure. Steve Kerr. I don't remember what I'm talking about. Um, Steve, I Kerr, think so. Will Purdue. They he punched both of them. I think in the face. Did they talk about that though? I don't remember them talking about. For sure, they said Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr talked about it. Okay. Steve Kerr talked about it because he said, Steve Kerr said some pussy shit. He said he punched Jordan in the chest. I don't know why you would do that. That won't like pussy shit. (laughs) No, but Jordan came back and punched him in the shit. 
He said Jordan respected him because he stood up for himself. I don't himself. believe that. I believe it. I don't believe that. I'm not gonna go stand. I'm not gonna get nobody respect for punching me in my chest. All right, that's a push. I mean, he might have swung and missed and hit him in the chest. No, nah, I think and Steve Kerr like he did something. Well, I mean, but overall, Michael Jordan was a fucking asshole, man. So okay, <laughs> I don't. I, he was, and that's my guy. I think he did that to people who he felt needed the extra push. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he did that to everybody. Yeah, but imagine you pushing somebody that don't have nothing for you to push. Like, yeah, what, uh, what, um, uh, what's his name? Burrell? Yeah, he was on Burrell. Yeah, ass, like man. he was gonna get on him. Like, what? <laughs> when? When? When was he gonna give you anything? Like, he was just a guy. He was on Burrell's ass. Yeah. Burrell took it like he took it in stride, man. Like. He was calling my man a bitch in a hole. Yeah, like, I mean, I don't know if a I man, know. a grown man, can call me a bitch in a hole. Exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. I don't care who you are. Yeah. I don't give like, a fuck who you are. You can be president. Like, look, Mike, we gonna have to like. <laughs> yeah. That's like Horace Grant. All right. So I know you seen what Horace Grant said. Which what part? Horace Grant said every time. All right. For instance, the 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 time when Michael told Horace, uh, he told the flight attendant on the plane, he told told her, "Don't give Horace Grant." No food because he played bad that night. Horace Grant said straight up, "Ain't nobody taking no food out of my mouth." He, he said he stood up and told Mike, "What's up? What you want to do?" That was in the dock. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Well, that. I don't know if it was in the dock, but he said it after the dock. Yeah, that was after the dock. Yeah, I think it was after the dock. Okay, I seen that on like social media, but it was like if you a grown man and you playing basketball and you got some dude telling you <laughs> what you is and ain't gonna do. What are you calling you bitches and hoes? Telling you you ain't gonna eat and shit. So put you in your shit when you hit when he get mad. You think that he could have been the greatest without doing all that extra shit? I don't know. But I'm just saying that he was a fucking asshole. I ain't saying he ain't the greatest because he is. But I think Jordan is the greatest basketball player, but I'm just saying that I think Jordan was a fucking asshole, man. I, think I don't know if he had to be like that. I think his competitive nature did bring out some assholeness. Um, uh, ain't nothing wrong with being an asshole. Nah, because I think I'm an asshole, but I don't disrespect people. You what I mean, what you, how, how, uh, like being an asshole and being disrespectful is synonymous. Nah, not really. How, how can you not be uh, disrespectful okay. and you an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a little bit of an asshole. Like I'm sarcastic, but I don't mean like it's just that can be a, like an asshole trait, just being sarcastic, right? Like, yeah, yeah, you know it could be, it could be a, uh, and, a real annoying. Yeah, yeah, it could be, but I don't mean no disrespect by it. It's just poking fun. You know what I'm saying? And I know, like, I don't. I'm not gonna call nobody no hoe or no bitch. Like out the blue, <laughs> cause they missing shots and shit. Like this nigga calling. He said straight up, man. Just keep on missing you whole ass bitch. Like damn, Mike. I mean, I, I, I guess, but we ain't never, we ain't never been on that level either. So that might be what that level entails, bro. How is it gonna help you to call somebody a whole or a bitch? You get on that level, or you gonna get called a whole or bitch? But even if you all right, so say, say for instance, Steve Kerr, he got punched in his shit. And he made every shot right. ever after that. Nah, <laughs> no, 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 fine. Let's, let's, let's calm down on that. Cause Steve Kerr only averaged like maybe 10, 11 points. That's all the only shots he had, though. What was his percentage? I mean, I don't know what his percentage was. His percentage like. was pretty fucking high. But Steve Kerr only averaged like 10, 11 points a game. Everybody his percentage like he for three was point land was pretty fucking high. Nah, he was a, a deadly three point shooter. Yeah, his percentage was pretty high. That ain't because Jordan punched him in his shit. I think it was. How? <laughs> what the fuck? How? I think it helped. I don't think it hindered. I think he's like, yo, I don't want to get punched in my shit again. So, so you trying to tell me these grown ass men walking around scared of one nigga? Bruh, you seen. It was. I can't remember what player it was. I can't remember what I want to say. I can't remember what player it was, but they said. I think it's Steve Nash for some reason. Did Steve Nash play with Jordan? Hell no. Nah. He played on the um, Mavericks. Well, no, nah, he played for the Suns. He played for the Mavericks. That's his whole career. One player said that it was the the fear that they felt 
playing against Jordan, they didn't feel against any other player. Fear playing against him? Yeah, like the the fucking anxiety that they felt going against Jordan, they didn't f- there was only against Jordan that they felt a certain type of way that they was like shook. They they never felt that playing against anybody else. So it was something about that dude. Obviously, I mean, I'm saying, bro, I'm on the same page. He the greatest player ever. So but, I think all of that comes with comes with that. Like that I attitude, don't, don't know that, that aura, that. all of that ties into that. I think that's what it was, bro. All right. So like, hate, ain't I nobody scared of LeBron, even though LeBron is that dude. I don't think they scared of him like they scared they were scared of Jordan. I don't think I don't think so. Hold up. LeBron is that dude. Hold I don't up. think they fear him like that though. Hold up. Maybe his teammates, because they're going to get shipped off and shit if they don't perform. But nah, but I don't think, did the same shit. I don't think opponents is like, yo, we playing. Look. I don't think Bro. they fear him the same way that people fear Jordan. I think that people that have watched LeBron and didn't see Jordan doing his thing during the time he was doing it, they just don't understand. No, they, I don't think they understand either, man. They don't get it. That's why I hate these. These stupid ass <laughs> debates. And my um fellow, like the other legendary visionaries, some of y'all <laughs> niggas uh, love the debate about this dumb ass shit. I know y'all will have something to say about it. But y'all ain't here, so fuck y'all. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit. What <laughs> 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 you <laughs> Stupid. Oh, oh man! All right. <laughs> what else is on the docket? Oh, uh, uh, for people that are trying to be entrepreneurs, people that are trying to be business owners, I guess you would say, right? What was some advice that you would give someone that? Uh, because, all right, if y'all don't know, legendary visionaries, we are six individuals, six black men, right? That are trying to, not trying to, but we are in the process of becoming, starting our own yeah, business. Yeah, we we have separate entities. Um, like several of us have our separate thing going on, but we came together to make a uh, investment group, uh, for lack of a better term. Yeah, and we put it all together, and now we pulling our money together and beginning to build a business, you know, legitimate business right. called the Legendary Visionary LLC. Exactly. Um, but as us being LVs, uh, do you have any advice for future or aspiring entrepreneurs out there? Uh. I don't know it's like as far as what man you gotta like first my believe in what you're doing like if you believe in what you're doing like whatever it is don't just be doing some shit just because you think it's gonna make money you uh believe in it if you believe in it then go to the next step and attack it that's my advice like you can't just be doing shit because you see some other other people on social media or wherever you see them at doing some shit and now you want to try it so if somebody's uh or some shit that people are doing now like <laughs> flat tummy tea yeah, yeah so, like, they do a flat tummy tea and you see them doing flat tummy tea and they making money and you got a fat stomach you can't go out there and do flat tummy tea <laughs> bitch you fat so, <laughs> like, you don't really believe that shit. So, ain't nobody else gonna believe it. You know what I'm saying? So, do some shit that you believe in, man. Find out what you, you know, what you like, what you believe in, what you're passionate about, and do it. Um, what I will say is, like, it's six of us, so it's that's a little harder to uh, navigate when it's like more than two or three people. It's like with six fucking people, so it's like we gotta. Consider everybody's um, input, so that's a little harder to navigate, but um, it can still be done. 
we doing it. Also, it's a mind. Being an entrepreneur is a whole. It's a mindset. You got to change your mindset. So you can't. You got to prioritize your fucking business, man. It's your business. You can't just go work for your like a lot of times as entrepreneurs, we have day jobs. You can't go in your day job and uh, give your all to your day job and be comfortable with that. And when you get off work or on your off days, you ain't putting in nothing for your for yourself. Your business is an investment in you and in your future. So you got to change your fucking mindset. You got to stop thinking about spending and thinking, start thinking about investing, investing yourself, whether it's money or time, whatever it is, you got to start investing in yourself, man, and start believing in yourself. And that's the the greatest advice I can give you. Y'all check back with us. You know what I'm saying? We on the ride. All right. Um. For y'all, all all y'all ignorant motherfuckers out there, you know, we try to give y'all some bullshit. But we're gonna try to leave y'all off with something righteous, something wholesome, something that you can take and learn something with. So we're gonna have art give y'all a book recommendation. Read a book, bitch. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that you ought to read. All right, man. Take it away. Um, off of the forty eight laws of power, Robert Greene um has a book called The Laws of Human Nature. Um, if you like the forty eight laws of power, I think you will enjoy this book. It is thick as fuck. But it's a, so, book. Yeah, it's a lot of gems in it though, man. So <clears throat> pick it up, man. It goes it's the same format that Robert Green usually um employs in his writing. He does a lot of hist- historical um stories, but then he gives you interpretations of those stories and how they deal with um power and how they deal in this book particular book it deals with human nature and how People use human nature to manipulate other people. And if you're a simp or beta, like I used to be, <laughs> and this book can do you some good, man. So, you know, pick it up. Read it. Yo, email me at legendary6 at legendaryvisionaries.com and tell me how you like it. And it's, you know, it's like that. Yeah, man, y'all go ahead and check that out. If y'all like me, I'm pretty sure they got an audio version of that. Oh, yeah, they definitely got an audio version because I own the audio version. Um, I read the whole book in its entirety, and then I went back um, on my free Audible trial um, with my free credit. I bought, well, I got the um, the audio version of this, so I think I got like through the first four chapters of it. I haven't finished the audio version yet, but... It's just as good. So whatever you like, whether you reading nigga like myself or a listening nigga like my man Randy R H. All right, don't say that shit. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, it don't matter. As long as you soaking up game, it don't matter, man. Exactly, man. Educate yourself out there, but uh, it's your boy R H and Art Work. And y'all check in with us next week. We're going to have another episode of Legend Has It. Yeah, Legendary Visionaries in the building, man. We love y'all. Nah, we don't love y'all. We nah, don't know y'all. Nah, fuck y'all. Fuck niggas. y'all. <laughs> <laughs> y'all ugly ass niggas. Ah, fuck y'all. Yeah. But, um, fuck with us, though. Yeah, y'all fuck, fuck with, us, with us. And we talk with us next week. We're going to have something else for y'all. And, and it might be more than us next week. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to try to get some other niggas on. They be acting crazy. Yeah. Niggas don't want to do the podcast and shit. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with them niggas. <laughs> All right, but y'all check us out. This is the first episode of Legend Has It. Yeah, peace.